Hey guys, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Love ya. Caleb here. Gonna be checking out some English words that are actually German origin. And I thought, uh, I'll start out by saying words that I know off the top of my head. As an American, I'm German-American, but uh, with as most of um, German-Americans can't speak German, the our ancestors didn't pass it down, or they did up until World War One and Two, in which allegedly people tried to root out uh, German anything German as much as possible, including the language, and even change words that we used to that were German and make them sound more American. Um, I heard that they changed, like. Allegedly, they, they used they would say like um, Wiener Schnitzel, Wiener Schnitzel, and they change them to like Freedom Franks and stuff like that. Just like nobody says that anymore, but allegedly they, tr they that's how much they tried. They tried to like make up words to get rid of the German influence. It's kind of weird because German is the single biggest, still to this day, the biggest ethnic group in America. Um, I mean, uh, I don't know if that's the correct way, but I believe ethnic group. Yeah, um, it, okay, yeah, anyway. So <laughs> let's, I'll say, I, I know a little bit of German. I studied a tiny bit. My brother uh, studied in Germany. He speaks a little bit, but I know, like, ich habe Brot, uh, du trinkst Wasser, stuff like that. I have bread, you drink water. Um, this is, I remember even being in Germany. I, my friend spoke German. I was with him. I was in uh, Frank, yeah, I believe it was in Frankfurt. And um, he was speaking, he's an Indian guy actually, but I could understand him a little bit talking with people because uh, English, you know, is at, at its core a Germanic language, but we actually have more... French words than German because uh, the French invading and having um, a huge influence over English for so long. And so at the core, like the, the simple words, um, like I have, ich habe, and these sort of basic things are Germanic origin. But outside of those basic, like the basic 100 and 200 words that people use most often, um, the more complex things are of more Latin origin and French, um, Greek. Uh, so a lot of our, um, like I was talking with my French friend, he said their word, I believe their word for bacteria is like bacterie. So it's like virtually the same. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so those mo more complex stuff, Latin and French and whatnot, simple things, German. Uh, so... Uh, let's look through this list. Dashund. I actually don't, I haven't heard this much, but I feel like maybe I heard it. Anyway, hamsters, definitely. Um, that's funny. I thought it was called hamster. So I don't even know how to write. <laughs> but anyway, poodle, for sure. Um, Rottweiler, schnauzer. Yeah, okay. I can definitely see who used those. In German influence, pretzel. Bretzel, okay. Noodle, noodle. Yep, makes sense. Sauerkraut, sauerkraut. Yeah, okay. Broadwurst, we use. I'm just saying, I'll I'll say if we don't use these words, gummy bear, yes. Seltzer, yes. Wiener or Wiener, yeah. We usually say Wiener though. Uh, pumpernickel, yeah. Beer garden, yeah. This is this is one that's like to me is obvious just because of the spelling. It's not any sort of, because uh, we, we usually spell beer as in, yeah, like this, beer. But when I see beer garden, it's usually like, all right, it, sometimes it's like this. So, um, delicatessen. Uh, I've seen it. We don't really use that word in speaking. But anyway, um, Frankfurter, yeah. Uh, Pilsner, oh, that's interesting, I wouldn't have guessed that was uh, German, but yeah, Pilsner, Lager, Bun Cake, yep, Hamburger, 
that's funny because it's known as such an American thing from but from Hamburg that's that's interesting um, so stop British people stop saying go eat a hamburger anyway <laughs> zeitgeist yeah that's uh, that's kind of an obvious sounding German um, wanderlust yeah it's interesting because these both seem like very English words to me but Oh, okay. Yeah, though English speakers use this much more than Germans do now. Okay. Kitsch. Uh, yeah, that's kind of a weird word. Um, I don't hear it used much, but yeah, that's interesting. Trash. Okay. Makes sense. Kindergarten. That's really funny. I don't know why that's funny to me, but yeah, kindergarten. Antifa. This has just recently become used word real politic uh, right um, I don't even know the definition of this word but I, I have heard that politics of focusing Bauhaus I don't know I haven't heard that okay 20th century architect that's probably why <laughs> I actually did study AP uh, like advanced European history but I don't remember hearing about this uh, Probably because we studied more earlier history in the 20s. Oh, that's not true. Anyway, whatever. Gesalt, uh, no, I don't know that. But okay. I, I wouldn't even know how to pronounce this. Bildens Roman? I don't know. Not used. I never heard this. Lead motif. Hmm. Haven't really heard of this, but okay. Not really into Foosball. Yeah, foosball. Sure. Anglic, can I? Anglic. Ization of choose ball. Yeah, makes sense. Thief, it's yes. It's like it's like Catholic or church thing, something. This here we go, here we go, we're getting to the real obvious one. Uber. Well oh, yeah. Very super. I feel like it's it feels like it means super something, like big this, like this. Yeah, anyway, Uber. Um here. What? Uh, you're like urine? <laughs> no. Uh, oh, maybe. I don't know. You, okay. Whatever. Uh, bon. Uh, Autobahn. Yeah, I mean, we don't say, we don't really say this. Okay. But I, but I have heard Autobahn. Okay. The German Neanderthal. Okay. Neanderthal, uh, Spiel, I don't know why they just put in other German, oh, just random stuff, um, taken from the German Spielen, um, oh, yeah, I've heard, I hear Spiel, maybe, I believe that it might be from a pronunciation from a different era, area, I think it's like southern Germany, like, um, uh, or Switzerland or something, because people say he went off into some into some sort of spiel, saying like telling us some story. Anyway, uh, verboten. Uh, okay, yeah, heard that. Wonderkind. Yeah. Poltergeist. Yep. Doppelganger. Yep. Use that. Ertz. Ersatz. No, I haven't heard that. Zeppelin, yep. Led Zeppelin. Uh, I didn't know what that was for a long time. I thought there was a name. I thought Led Zeppelin was just a name. Like it's like, oh, is this cool name? Anyway, um, flack. Yeah, for sure, flack. Rucksack. Yeah, that's not used often, but sure. Umlaut. Yeah, right. Okay. We don't have that in English, but generally, anyway. Kaput, for sure. Quartz, yep. Hinderland, no, we don't use that. Angst, definitely, definitely. Ge, 
Yes, Gesundheit. Oh, yeah, when someone sneezes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we usually say God bless you, but uh, I have heard that. Um, Schadenfreude. Yeah. <laughs> I remember hearing that in The Simpsons. But yeah, it was pretty good. Oh, thanks, Thomas Moore Devlin. Uh... kind of interesting to see, see words that are crossover. Um, I could probably, if I thought about it, I could probably think of some more. Um, but uh, that was a pretty good list. And um, I really don't think, yeah, I think getting the basic, very basic type of words down in Germ from German might be the easiest part. And then Expanding into getting like uh, somewhat good at German and advanced German is probably very, very much more difficult. I think the this, this basic stuff is the easy part. Um, and uh, yeah, I don't know if I'll study German, but um, I def I have um, ancestors in Germany. My last name is Heinz, and um, I believe it was from South. The, the name origin is from southeastern Germany, but, um, and allegedly my, oh, like, great-great-grandpa came and came, came from Germany when he was, like, 14 or something, which is, like, really wild, but, um, I'm working on trying to find my ancestors and, or, not my ancestors, find out who they were, and then find their descendants to find my living relatives would be really cool. So anyway, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully it was somewhat interesting to you, and um, uh, have a good one. Love ya. If you would, uh, like and comment and subscribe if you liked. And if not, that's cool. And uh, take care.